Scientists and experts in the field have been investigating the impact of being in a Challenger 2 tank during live firing to assess the impact it has on the crew members and to inform the future development of our new main battle tank Challenger 3. The aim of the study, being held at the Army Castle Martin training area in Pembrokeshire, is to develop more effective tank crews and to cement their experiences mounted close combat experts. It is also hoped that the results will be used to inform the design and human factor integration in the new Challenger 3 main battle tank. The investigations initially took the form of observations to understand how a tank crew works together, a unique working environment not replicated anywhere else in the British Army. British Army has selected Trophy Active Protection System for the newest Challenger 3 tanks. Developed by Raphael in response to successful anti-armor attacks, Trophy Active Protection System provides mature, combat-proven protection against rocket and missile threats and simultaneously locates the origin of the hostile fire for immediate response. Trophy is the only fully integrated, combat-proven active protection system in the world and has been installed on Israel Defense Forces Merkava tanks since 2010, and has also been installed on the Neymar active protection system. Trophy has also been supplied to four United States Army Abrams main battle tank brigades, and will soon be supplied to Germany for its Leopard main battle tank. Trophy has made numerous combat interceptions with no injuries to crews or dismounted troops or damage to platforms since its first operational interception in 2011, Trophy has accrued over 1 million operating hours, including 5,400 successful field tests, and is now under contract for serial production of over 1,800 systems. As to the Challenger 3, it is a next-generation British main battle tank featuring extra firepower and cutting-edge protection systems. Challenger 3 will lead NATO armoured forces with the highest levels of lethality and survivability on the battlefields of today and out to 2040. According to the military, it achieves this not only by using the new gun but also by making use of the most advanced ammunition available globally from allies. Major Steve B, Officer Commanding D Squadron, the Black Pig of the Queen Royal Hussars, who is supporting the study, said, It is a golden opportunity to help to make us more effective and professional at our core role. Additionally, the potential future benefits for Challenger 3 could be invaluable in the design of the vehicle. Major B added that the study looked at both the physical stresses as well as the cognitive load on crew members, adding, The different crew positions require a blend of both physical and mental exertion. The role of a loader, for example, is much more physical than that of a commander, which is much more mentally draining. The tank commander's role, on the other hand, requires the assimilation of multiple sources of information and processing them to create synergized kinetic effects at the right time and place. David Farmer, team leader for the Challenger 3 delivery team at Defense, Equipment and Support, the procurement arm of the United Kingdom Ministry of Defense, said, I am delighted to welcome Raphael to our cohort of industry delivery partners who are working together to bring Challenger 3 to life. This is a significant program for defense and the British Army and represents a huge shift in the modernization of our land forces. The pioneering new technology that we are planning to use will allow us to deliver an immense warfighting capability.
Brig. Gen. Ret. Michael Lurie, head of Raphael Land Maneuverability Systems Directorate, said, Trophy Active Protection System has saved the lives of numerous soldiers and has been instrumental in protecting assets on the battlefield and enabling tank crews to maneuver safely under anti-tank fire and perform their missions safely and fully. This system has changed the rules of the game in the armored warfare arena, and the United Kingdom decision to choose trophy for the protection of its crews, ushers in a new era for its armored forces as well. We are thankful to our United Kingdom partners for joining other nations and Tier 1 Armoured Corps who have put their trust in Raphael's Trophy Active Protection System. The fact the study was carried out during live firing, as opposed to in a simulator, was especially relevant as the crews were operating under much more realistic pressures and conditions. Major B said the initial scoping study is designed to identify any gaps in understanding and to inform future broader studies. He added, the Army is always looking to make their training as safe as possible whilst also retaining maximum training value which makes us as lethal as possible. It is hoped that the study will begin to identify areas of human factors integration, like how a crew works with a vehicle, which will ensure that Challenger 3 is as intuitive as possible. Longer term, it could be the first step in defining which physical employment standards are most pertinent to an armored crew. A full squadron of 14 crews, numbering 56 soldiers, took place in the study over two days, allowing scientists to observe a total of 20 live fire exercises, each one lasting between 20 and 30 minutes. Three scientists participated and the investigations will culminate in workshops which are designed to inform a longer more in-depth future study.